Good morning, guys. So today is the full day of the hanger clinic program for MPT. So today is Thursday. So today is going to be a full day of just event for all the MPTs. There are upper and lower MPTs in this program. So I am looking forward to getting to meet everyone and learn more about what kind of uh, prosthetic people have and what's what's kind of out there. I like the one that I have. I feel like it's doing a pretty good job for me, but you know, it never hurt to see what, what else is out there. So, so I'm excited. Uh, it's eight o'clock now or it's 7.55. Another reason why I'm excited about it is just to hear everybody's story, like how they lost their hand. Cause you know, how you lost it, um, a hand or uh, a leg. Cause all of us have different stories. So I'm looking forward to hearing everybody's stories of how they end up being an amputee. Um, I had a good night's sleep. I was super tired <laughs> after the plane ride from uh, yesterday because, you know, I'm very nervous at um, when it comes to flying, so I was just drained yesterday, um, but yeah, I had a night of um, rest, now I'm ready to go, ready to enjoy um, Austin, ready to enjoy this uh, weekend, and uh, um Tomorrow at 2 o'clock, I'm going to be doing a uh, horseback riding. It's been a while since I've been on a horse, so I'm looking forward to how that's going to go. Um, I have actually become so good at putting up my own hair. It's pretty awesome. So hopefully it won't let me down. Not that I have just bragged about it. Let's see if you guys can see. Voila, our hair is up. So, all right, so this is it. We are going to face the day and see what's gonna happen. I'm excited. It's gonna be really fun. So, I will check with you guys later. Bye. So I am heading downstairs where the event is gonna take place. Guys, these hallways are freezing cold. It's super cold down these hall hallways. Okay guys, I'm finally made it outside. We had uh, two, three hours of introduction and people just telling their stories and stuff. So now we are outside. Uh, our first event is a cooking class for upper limbs. So that's the first thing we're gonna do today. Um, yeah, it was starting to starting to be very cold inside, so I'm happy that we are actually outside now, where it's nice and warm. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna wait for the golf cart to come pick me up to go to the place where we will be doing our cooking class. So I will talk to you guys soon. So I decided I'm going to walk because the place 
where we're doing the activity it's not too far so i'm just gonna walk get my cardio in get my steps in and stuff so look how beautiful this place is it's pretty awesome it's a really nice resort air it's a hotel for something about they have spa here too so it's pretty nice do my walk hopefully I don't get lost because I'm very directionally challenged but there are a lot of people around so I can always ask for help so see you on the other side put on my bandana everybody is on the team I'm Tim Purple. Boy. Since I can tie it. I guess it's like putting on my hair up. Kind of the same idea. Alright, we good. Bloomington, Indiana. <laughs> no. Time. Damien, you want to be on my video? You want to introduce yourself? Hi, my name's Dave. Nice to meet you, Dave. Nice to meet you. I'm really here. Maybe save your money, save your money. Yes, yes. So, no, 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 so the key there is yeah. using the, the, the corners or the or the forks. Okay, so where's my knife? Yeah. Uh, this is it. So for you for cutting stuff like these things, okay? It's got, it's got a little spring to it, okay? Like, it's like cutting hair. Yeah, you can, yeah, just get it. Yeah. I 
you're switching. Put the foot, put the foot in your prosthesis and then use the knife with your, with your sound board. So hold the fruit with the prosthesis and cut with the other hand. Switch. Yeah. So how are you going to hold the fruit? You can hold it this way. There you go. What's the knife I this for? What? What is this for? I think for the for the uh, guacamole. Guacamole. Lemons and limes and guacamole. The squeeze into the guacamole. Or your iced tea, right? So once once I once you cut it in half, what I do at home is I'll I'll take anything that's cylindrical like this, and then I poke it in the middle, right there, and then I do that. I poke okay. it here, and then I pinch it here, put it in the middle, and I pinch it here. I got my beans. With Try that. Try. If you have the prosthesis, so maybe you can try holding like this, and then cutting them into smaller chunks. Okay, I'm going to want them in smaller chunks.